as we've seen before. And like I said before, playing concepts would not be playing concepts without the 12 MVPs who make up part of our team. I spoke to Yvonne earlier, and now I'm joined by Carlos Landeras, who is MVP in... Uh, I'm MVP in uh, Visual Studio and Development Technologies. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you for joining us. So, tell us about more about what you do at Plain Concepts. Okay, uh, I have been uh, working at Plain Concepts for two years and three months. I am a web developer. I am heavily focused on .NET technologies. I have been for the last uh, 10 years. I am also a very fan of Node.js and JavaScript frameworks, and I have also been developing uh, projects using uh, JavaScript and, uh, and this kind of technologies. And well, we are now also focusing on other technologies like blockchain, uh, uh, 3D programming with uh, web VR on the, on the browser, but mainly uh, I am focused on web development. How's it been here today so far for you? Uh, it's been an amazing experience. I'm so proud of what Plain Concept did. Uh, uh, Plain Concept uh, brought us the biggest and the most important event uh, in Spain, and it's, I think that uh, everyone is uh, excited about what's going on here today and I hope we have uh, the .NET conference organized by Plain Concert for quite a lot of years. We hope so years. too, we hope so too. So you are an expert yourself, you are Microsoft MVP, how does that feel? Uh, it's good, it's, uh, it's a prize that you uh, obtain from Microsoft because it's a, I think it's a very good recognition of the work that we are doing uh, all the year. Uh, uh, preparing conference, uh, workshops, uh, going to other provinces or other countries to, to show the technology to, to other people. So I, th I am proud of having received this, this prize uh, I, and I think it's something that is very valuable. And you're going to be sharing some of your knowledge with us later on. You're going to be giving a talk, correct? Yeah. I'm going uh, to give a talk with my partner, uh, Luis Ruiz Pabon. He is an MVP on Visual Studio and Development Technologies as well. And uh, we are going to present our talk that is called uh, Good Practice uh, Using uh, ASP.NET ASP Core. Uh, sometimes uh, we prepare uh, technology talks that are focused on how the framework works. But today, what we want to do is uh, show to other developers how we do it uh, in, our, uh, in a daily basis. Okay? So we want uh, the developers to to see uh, what were our blocking paths, uh, what were our uh, architectural decisions towards the project, and what are uh, the decisions that we have been uh, making uh, during the last months, uh, talking about this uh, ASP.NET framework. I hope uh, the people really enjoy it, because we have uh, gathered all this knowledge and put it on, on, the, on the talk, and it's not... Um, you can, the, the talk is going to be mainly uh, source code, it's going to be fully technical, but not framework focused, it's going to be uh, experience focused, and I hope uh, they, they enjoy it. So what would be some of the key takeaways um, from, from your talk? When the delegates leave, they're going to be like, ah, oh, that was really interesting, I really learned something. How will it change their lives and how will it, how will it change the way they develop? Uh, I think the, the main, uh, the best ideas that we're going to talk today is the separation of, on cons, of concerns on the website, separating the host of the API, for example. We are also going to talk about uh, some new features of the Microsoft uh, build uh, process that uh, since version 15 uh, allows you to use the directory uh, build props that is a file where you can configure everything and you can avoid, uh, for example, a nugget package hell or set a, a certain option to all the projects on the solution. We're also going to talk about good practice uh, towards testing. Uh, we're going to give some, some interesting notes uh, while configuring the dependency injection on the website. Uh, configuring the middleware pipeline, how could you use uh, extension methods to, to keep tidy all these uh, uh, services and middleware registration. We're going to, to show uh, how can you, for example, validate uh, incoming request models uh, without use that annotations using, for example, uh, a validate model state filter. We are uh, going to show how to properly use uh, background uh, task on this uh, framework without impacting the, the web performance uh, by registering it in, uh, in another host or separating the, the registration between the host and the API. 
So the idea is to have a lot of developers who are going to have a lot less stress. Yes, the, our idea is to focus on something that is working for us at Plain Concepts. As I told you, it's our daily, the, our, in, our, in a daily basis, we are always experimenting with ASP.NET Core, trying to, to get the maximum from this framework, and we have uh, our bad days where we made wrong decisions, we learned from that, and that's what we want, that we want to show to the, to the other developers. Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing it. Okay. Thank you very much. Your Richard. talk and everybody else's talks will be available on this channel, so you'll have to click here or here or wherever we decide to put the link. Carlos, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye.